Let's get started with the Meals of the Week video tonight. It is snowing. <laughs> we have had some of the craziest weather here, but it's snowing right now. And even though it's, well, I guess it is 30 degrees. All right, we're going to do the homemade healthy beef taquitos. If you saw the big freezer meal prep day that Emily and I did, you'll know that we utilized some recipes from from Freezer Fit and the air fryer healthy beef taquitos. So I'm going to preheat my air fryer. I'm going to put these onto the tray. I like to line the tray just so the cheese doesn't drip down. Uh, and then I am going to brush them with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to air fry these for probably 15 minutes so that they get nice and crunchy. We'll serve these up with some sour cream as well as some salsa. At this point, I'm putting together Amber's creamy potato soup in the crock pot for supper tonight. I, we normally would have soup supper at church tonight. I am unsure if that is happening because we also have a tenebrae service at seven o'clock. So I'm just not really sure um, if that's happening and I wanna be prepared when we get home this afternoon. I wanna make sure that we do have a supper. So I am putting together just a single batch. I know I said in my grocery haul that whenever I do Amber's Creamy Potato Soup, I always do a double batch. But today I was like, you know what? I better only do a single because I don't wanna have a ton of leftovers um, in case it like ends up taking us to Friday or something and then we don't eat meat. This has bacon and chicken and all that kind of thing. I was so excited because I have frozen um, onions still in the freezer, so I'm going to break off what appears to be about a half a cup to add to the soup mixture. We're home now, and the soup looks really, really good. I just put in the cream cheese. But you know what? I found out that we actually are having Stations of the Cross and Soup Supper tonight at church. So I'm just going to uh, turn this off, let it cool here, get it into the fridge, and we'll just bring it back out and have it for lunch tomorrow, which is actually perfect. Lunch is already ready for tomorrow. Good morning. Meals of the week is going to be a little bit more of prepping meals now for... Um, I guess for Holy Saturday as well as Easter Sunday. So we're just getting two dozen of eggs going in my Instant Pot. Well, I already did the first dozen. Kids are filling Easter eggs in the background for the Easter egg hunt, filling them with candy. So that's one cup of water in the Instant Pot. Come on, close. Seal. Uh, pressure cook. Pressure level high, back to pressure cook, and five minutes. I'm gonna let that come up to pressure. It'll Then it will go five minutes. I hit cancel, then I let it naturally release for five minutes. That means to allow the pressure to come down. And then I just put them in some ice water here and just kind of rolling them around a little bit. I should have just done it in a bowl so I could have submerged them a little better, but this is what it is. So five minutes in here, and then I'll just, then we're gonna just let them cool. I see I did have one break. 
Where was that one? I had one break here. Well, we'll find it. Oh, and look at that. Ho, ho, ho? No. Or is it hip? Oh, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, huh? <laughs> that looks like a good one. Did you put some money in there too? Uh huh. Ooh, nice. I'm going to be making a blueberry tort. Uh, tort, honey. Wow. So one cup of sugar. Whoops, I should have read my recipe. Let's take out one fourth cup. <laughs> Three fourths cup of sugar is what needs to go in there and one cup of blueberries. Now the recipe actually calls for just using blueberry pie filling, like canned blueberry pie filling, but I have so many blueberries in the freezer that I want to just make a homemade blueberry pie filling. And honestly, I like it better. And you know, this is special. So one cup of blueberries. And this is what makes this blueberry pie filling so good is that you only cook down one of the cups of blueberries and the other blueberries get put in at the end. So it isn't just like, like, it isn't just a, a mush. It actually has real blueberries in, in the end. So at this point, I'm gonna cook this down. Oh, on low, I'm gonna simmer it until the sugar is like clear, you know, until it's all dissolved. It's been such a joy cooking in my kitchen with those three big cupboards all cleaned out. Uh, boy, I can just find things so quick. So yes. look at, there's these half, whoop, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. They fit perfectly oh, on cute. each side. I'm making a blueberry tort. The thing's beeping all around me. The microwave is beeping at me because I was just doing a little kind of a quick thaw of some meat so I can make chili for tomorrow. My Instant Pot is beeping at me that it has come up to pressure. So we're just going to do three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm doing this while the blueberries and sugar are cooking down. And three tablespoons of cold water. I'm gonna stir this around. I'll need to stir it again when it's time to pour this into the blueberry sugar mixture. But I just wanna have this ready. Then I'm gonna move over to the sink and get my eggs out. Because it's been five minutes that they've been in the ice bath. This blueberry pie filling is a great way to freeze pie filling. Just keep making batch after batch after batch and put it into those ready tainers. I get them from Amazon. They're one quart plastic, no BPA, freezer safe, that kind of thing. And then just label the top blueberry pie filling. It's so nice to have in the, in the freezer. I thought there were a dozen eggs that when they went in. <laughs> it's it's like putting socks in the dryer, right? They go in in pairs, but they come out missing their match. It's like eggs. I would have swore I put 12 in to begin with, but there's only 11 here. All right, I'm going to bring this to a hard boil and boil it until, again, till it's not milky, but it looks nice and clear. I mean, it's gonna be color, colored, but you know what I mean by clear, right? Where it doesn't look, um, doesn't look cloudy. This is looking really good. That's a good hard boil, and I can see that it is, you know, the, the cornstarch is cooking to the point where it kind of like clarifies a little bit. I just want this to get a little bit thicker, so I'm going to cook it for about another minute here. Actually, probably not even another minute. I can already feel it thickening up nicely. So I just made up some quick egg salad here for Warren and me, and probably Joe likes egg salad too. And I put in a little bit of um, pepper and some salt. This is just seven eggs with some a little bit of Miracle Whip and a little bit of mayo. I may actually um, mince up a little bit of onion, I think, and a little celery. I think that would be really, really delicious in here too. Oh, was there supposed to be a cloth? I thought there was, but I don't know.
I'm doing the kidney beans in the Instant Pot now for my chili. So these are light red kidney beans, one cup of beans, along with three and a half cups water, and I'm going to pressure cook this for 42 minutes. I let the pie filling cool a little bit too much. And I'm gonna add a scant quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, along with half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I need to put in two tablespoons of butter, but since I let this cool, pretty much all the way. It's not going to melt in here, so I'm just going to melt two tablespoons in the microwave quick, and then we will add in the remainder of the frozen blueberries over here and give it a stir, and this will be ready for the blueberry tart. All right, it's much later in the day now here. It's already 3.20. Uh, we are back home and back at the food prep. So this is what the kidney beans look like. They got soft. I think that worked out actually really, really well doing them in the Instant Pot. I like that quite well. I'm gonna add all of these to the chili over here. I'm going to boil up some elbow macaroni, uh, actually three cups, three cups of elbow macaroni and get that added as well. Fudge filled bunnies. Yep, they were all and peanut butter filled eggs. Mm -hmm. In that bag, yeah. A whole variety of things in there. I am making the elbow macaroni for the chili. Mm. Tomorrow. All right, we're getting serenaded by Joe here today. But for the blueberry tart, Maria rolled 24 graham crackers. Whoops, I'm not going to put that in there yet, though, because I want to melt my butter. And I need a half a cup of melted butter and a half a cup of sugar. Crackers. Hey, the more the better. You'll like this one though. Are you sure? I'm sure. This is like cheesecake. Ooh, I might like it. I like That's strawberry old. cheesecake. Okay, well that is a lot of graham crackers. All right, I just washed this out. Okay, two eggs. Well, good. I'm glad you like it. So that was two eggs well beaten along with one block, eight ounces of cream, softened cream cheese, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, Joe. This is gonna bake at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. And then when it comes out and it cools slightly, I will spread the pie filling over the top and then I will chill it. And then just before serving, I will spread it with a layer of whipped topping. Well, good morning to all of you on this holy Saturday. I was just working at slicing up some strawberries and some cucumbers. It's just kind of a, uh, as people get here, they can have that for a snack. But I did want to show the pinata. I know we've shown the process before. Pretty much all we do is just, we take a balloon, blow it up like really big, and then we turn it upside down and hang a rope on it down in the basement and then we just cut a bunch of strips of newspaper and what's the uh liquid? state what is that stuff starch? called starch liquid yeah starch. it's liquid starch and then mm -hmm. we use liquid starch and we just dip the newspapers in the liquid starch and we'll put them over the balloon and we just keep on putting layers and layers until there's like a bunch of layers mm -hmm. and then it makes like 
egg shaped. Yep. And then we always put wire on it at the end just to give it some more strength. A little more strength. And then that gives it some, yeah. some way for dad to, um, to like hang, hang it. it. And then he always does that where he's got like the rope on a pulley and, and then like pull it. So it's harder to hit it. Yeah, it makes and it then harder we to hit. And fill it with candy. <coughs> and excuse me. I'll paint it like an egg. So you're gonna hang it. I'm gonna hang it. And then paint, paint it. it. Okay. But we're gonna fill it first, so yes. it's basically all ready to go. And then hopefully we don't get any more rain today. It was raining this morning. But uh, I, when I was out there on the kayak, I did. Yeah. It was just ending. It was just ending. Okay. Like the, White yes, Joe. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, those are called fruit gushers, and we're going to put some of those into the gushers pinata too. Are yeah, and I gave Joe a really nice haircut the other day, and then yesterday he gave himself a new haircut. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, sir. Let's start whacking this up. Right You're going to whack it? Right here, that is yep, the yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. cut a little chunk and there. And if you look right there, there's a big piece off we right got, here. Yes, I don't know. It's like grizz. So, anyway, all right. Everybody is really, really excited around yes. here today. I do have some tidying up to do. Um, just kind of wipe down the bathrooms and do a little vacuuming and stuff like that. But I wanted to get these Ow. eggs soaking in vinegar. So... We are going to try this. I, I saw this on Instagram. It was a little reel where they took Cool Whip, spread it out into a pan like this, put food coloring on it, swirled it around, and then you kind of roll the eggs in it, let it sit there for 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off. And it's supposed to make the most beautiful eggs, at least the ones I saw um, that that person did. They were absolutely beautiful. So it did say that they need to soak in vinegar for the most vibrant colors for five to 10 minutes. So we have those soaking for 10 minutes. I'm gonna get the rest of this ready and then kind of run around and do a little tidy, hopefully <laughs> before that timer goes off. I think this one's gonna look cool. Here's the beginning of our eggs. They didn't, they surely do not look like the ones that we saw online. Hers were like completely swirled, looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're gonna retry. Well, we're gonna like, kind of retry like the some of them. Green on them. Uh, they look like, you know, when sometimes you pick up the egg, yeah. but there's poop on it. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Good morning and happy Easter. Today, um, well, just a recap of yesterday. It was just a fantastic day. It was great to have family here. We had a wonderful egg hunt, pinata. Uh, Joe went a little ballistic on the pinata, which was just kind of a surprise to I all of a us. Lot of <laughs> a lot of ballistic, Peter says. And um, yeah, all the food was just yummy yesterday. The dips that the girls brought and what else was brought? Cookies and everything was just yummy, yummy. So here we are this morning um, 
We're gonna be heading off to church in just a little bit, but I just wanted to show you, I talked about, I kind of, I do this every year. I make with the Rhodes frozen dinner rolls, I make uh, lamb rolls. So can you guys see it? <laughs> we have the head and we have the body and a little tail, and then we have the legs here, and I just let these, um, I'm gonna let these rise here, and then I will brush a little bit of like water on them and sprinkle them with, um, and sprinkle them with sesame seeds, which I just realized I forgot to buy. Well, hopefully I have a few. And then I usually uh, put like a cranberry or a raisin or something in for an eye. And those are our Easter <laughs> dinner lamb rolls. I also thawed one of our um, hams. So we bought this from a local farmer, let's see, in August, I think that was, that we got, um, that I was able to pick up all of our meat. And so I thought a ham, I'm gonna get this into the crock pot. I'm hoping in my seven quart crock pot that this is gonna fit. Um, sometimes I have to like cut a chunk off to make it fit, but we'll figure it out. Let's take a look at this sharp dressed man for Easter Sunday. Wow, he's giving us the turn. <laughs> you clean up nice, Peter. Thanks. I don't know what happened to Joe, but he's all uh, spiffied up too. So I fed my sourdough this morning. Put a rubber band around it. Nothing is happening yet. I mean, something has to be happening, but it sure isn't. Uh, it's not getting too bubbly yet, but it's only been about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, it fit. It fit. The lid is just a little bit, a little bit wiggly, but it's going to be fine. All right, we've got it plugged in. Power on low, and let's see. It is. 8.15, 9.15, 10 11.15, 12.15, 1.15. Uh, let's just set it for four and a half hours. 8.15, 9.15, 10.15, 11.15, 12.15, 12.45. Okay, we'll set it on low, and that should be good. I also wanted to give you a little update on the blueberry tort that I made. So that was the first time I ever made that recipe and it was good and it is something I would make again. I would do two things differently though. I would do only a half recipe of the graham cracker crust because I, th I thought it was awfully thick for the cheesecake layer and I would do a double recipe of the cheesecake. So I think that that would really add I just think that would add a lot to it. And maybe even the first time that I would do that, I would just double the cheesecake layer and leave the graham cracker crust the same, possibly. But I, I thought there was a lot of graham cracker in comparison to the amount of cheesecake. But the homemade blueberry pie filling I thought was really good because it was super blueberry, blueberry-y. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, just a lot of gel with a couple blueberries interspersed. It was very, very, um, just super flavorful. We're gonna do that for dessert today because it. I have plenty of it left. I think we only ate like five pieces or something. I originally had thought I would do a peanut butter, kind of the same style of, of a dessert. It has a graham cracker crust with peanuts mixed into it and then you make like a peanut butter fluffy layer and then put sprinkled, um, uh, sprinkle some peanuts on the top. I was going to do that, but since we have the blueberry still left, we're just going to do that for dessert today because there's been plenty of candy, plenty of sweets. I don't really want to have a bunch of desserts uh, left in the fridge. <music> My lamb looks a little skinny today. Uh -oh. It's freshly shaved. <laughs> there you go, freshly shaved. Oh, right down here, right down here, you guys. Oh. Aisley is here. Aisley, we're down here. Maria's here. Colt is here. Peter is here. Oh, come on, come into your spot. Your grandma's got fancy plates down there for you. Jamie. Well, wherever, but I know you're left-handed. This is your spot, Colt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. I got the knife. 